And there we go. What do you think? Oh, oh no. What's this face all about? Oh my gosh, I miss Iris' birthday. No. Rain is angry because he just met a sibling he doesn't want at all. Okay, guys, come on. Hurry, hurry. Step right up. We're all getting aboard the Live Redemption train. This is when we turn our life around. We stop being toxic. We start thinking about our partner. We start slowly becoming a better person. But first of all, I've just got to go have someone else's baby real quick. So we are in the hospital, ready for the C-section from the baby that was a result of our extra. I keep thinking they're married in my head. They're not because I wanted my kids in my wedding, but we will be getting married soon. So this is kind of like an extra marital affair, but not married affair. Between Liv and her childhood sort of crush, Irvin, we've gone ahead and broken things off with him completely. It's, well, it, you know, it's kind of salty. We're kind of just not going to go there. But we are here at the hospital and it is go time it is baby time poor little gordon here he's still looking very much you know a little bit rough around the edges but once we start to improve his life his appearance okay he oh wow immediately just ran out no pauses whatsoever then immediately just got out of that room okay we're gonna start improving his life i'm gonna start making things better for him i've got a lot to talk about i've read your comments from last episode you have some great ideas so we're gonna be doing those i'm trying to remember which room i birthed in last time because i felt like it went really well was it this one did i birth here yeah i think i birthed there but for now we just need to go ahead and get our epidural so is my usual doctor here no he is not however alan is here bestie alana's here i'm gonna get alana to do my epidural for me also i'm hungry i'm irritable i'm in a shocking mood gordon you seem to be the king of finding snacks in hospitals during pregnancy and labor so why don't you go ahead and try and find us something to eat he wants to blow me a kiss not the time i'm crouched over getting a giant needle in my back i don't want your kisses i want pain relief i want that sweet pain relief please oh snack machine has been found okay gordon let's go over and buy some snacks wait no don't eat the snacks yourself i need the snacks put the snack oh my gosh since i've had one c-section the game has like defaulted to have another c-section from what i understand that's very much likely the case anyway in real life sometimes people prefer to at least try for their second birth if they've had c-section the first time you can do natural but usually they do recommend a c-section so she's gonna go ahead and get her epidural all ready for her c-section gordon have you brought my snacks yet okay snicks snick sneaky snacks have been brought He's even put them in a little box for me. She's like, yes, food. Oh, no, no, still irritable. Okay, okay, okay. But why don't we eat our little faux BLT at least? And then this is our cousin slash best friend, Alana. She is going to be doing the delivery for us. This mod has, by the way, been updated for twins. I haven't downloaded the updated version, so hopefully there isn't twins. I don't have a twin feeling, but my game does like to bless me with twins. Why have I got poop in my inventory? I do not know. But yeah, you can now, like... I think what will happen is they pass one baby to you and then the doctor like holds the other and shows you it. So there is like a really cool twin interaction if you guys do use this mod. It's the realistic pregnancy mod by Panda. I want to say Panda Sims, but it's not. It's Panda something else. But basically, I'll link it in the description below. Oh! And the epidural has kicked in. It's go time. It's go time. Gordon, are you coming too? You want a passionate kiss me? I'm not going to be passionately kissing you, babes. I am about to kick off. The epidural is kicked in. The pain relief is here and it's go time. We're about to have our C-section. It's happening. It's happening. He was, he's upset because his gift was not appreciated and he's also freaked out by the storm, but we're here. It's time for our C-section and look, they sit down. I know you guys have seen this before, but I still just love this mod so much. I really, really love it. We can't see what's going on, but there's a scalpel. We're doing some curtain. Oh, it's loud. Oh, okay. Kind of sounds like a drill, but um, we're drilling the baby out. We're mining it like it's gold and... If it has golden hair, <laughs> like our affair partner, it will definitely be gold and also kind of difficult to explain. But, okay, boy or girl, what do you think? I am kind of, we've got one girl, one boy. I'm kind of hoping for another girl, but let's see what we've got. <gasps> it's a baby boy. Okay, so, 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 so. A boy's name. All the boys this gen, I'm kind of trying to make like rainbowy kind of names, like names that remind me of all of the colors together which is why our other son is called rain but for this son what should we go for what's another color that like name that reminds me of all the colors i could just wait a minute rain and bow can i call my child bow <laughs> is that allowed like like a bow bowberry <laughs> what about like bow 
like Bowberry. Can I do that? Is that allowed? Is that legal? What about Bowen? Is Bowen a name? Have I just made that up? It's a Welsh name. It means son of Owen. Bowen. Oh, it's a name. It's real. Okay, so I've got Rainbow. I've got Rain and Bowen. It's together. Add them together like they are like, uh, I was going to say scale electrics, like they're transformers and they create the rainbow. There we go. Bowen Berry. Boom. And let's see Bowen. Let's see little baby Bowen. He's coming out. Oh, there he is. He's been yeeted out by his neck. And there we go. A little Bowen Berry. What do you think? Oh, oh no. What's his face all about? That is... Okay, that's that's a worrying expression. Is it just worry because of the C-section? I'm hoping it is. Baby's having a really good stare around. Let's have a little close close look. Okay. Cute little bubble of rue. And we're all done. We're all done, Gordon. It's finished. She's gone. She's getting out of a surgical gown. I'm off. I'm off to go find some more snacks. How are you feeling? It's a lot for him. He finds C-sections incredibly overwhelming. I don't know if he accidentally took some of the sedative, but yeah, he's uh he's finding it a lot, but the vibes are good. The vibes are good. The food is good. Storm ain't great. The, she didn't want a faux BLT. I think she, I don't know, she wanted something sweet, like a pastry or something, but she didn't love the food, but we're all done. And baby Bowen is at home waiting for us. What did she actually want? She wanted a can of soda. Now, one thing I really wanted to do is I wanted to be able to convince Gordon that this was his baby. And I know that that was an option that I should have been able to click, but I checked all the menus multiple times. I didn't have that option. So once the baby ages up into a toddler, let me just send them home. I'm going to be able to tell whether he needs to adopt as care dependent or whether the game will like... He already has the relationship. Does he think it's his son? No, he has acquaintance and she has acquaintance and son and she that's a love child so i might need to like adopt but basically from his point of view we want him to just assume it's his son we don't want him to think that it's not and it really annoyed me that i couldn't like i couldn't choose the option that really frustrated me and bowen's also hungry so we really need to get home once poor gordon gordon stopped associating then he will join us at home i'm sure okay where is my child oh he's gone ahead and stolen um okay that's not your bed you guys said in the comments and i very much agree with you we've got to move we've got to move to a bigger house and i completely agree with you guys so i want to try and make that happen i found a house that we could move into it's actually not a bigger house it's a bigger floor space and there's potential to extend this house is very higgledy piggledy i will put this house in the gallery for you guys though it's actually the house do you remember i did the challenge where i had to like build a house based on some blueprints i found online it's that house which i also thought would suit like our 1950s aesthetic quite well however we need 16,000 more pounds in order to be able to move into the house. So we've got to seriously start doing some saving. Okay, brilliant. We can go ahead and reach the baby. Let's go ahead and bring Gordon home. And let's see. It's really annoying. It, I, can't, I haven't tricked him into thinking it's his son. You guys said that there was a whole hidden trait that it adds and like all of this cool thing. But it just, it never gave me the option, which is really frustrating. The difficult feelings are from being around rain, by the way, not from being around new babies. That's fine. And we've come back from hospital. Gordon wants to come and chat with us. This is perfect because, you know, we're here staring at the results of us being quite a selfish sim. Us not putting Gordon first, even though he's always put us first. I mean, he's literally just come upstairs for a crying bed as we speak. So last episode, we did talk about the fact that he wasn't happy in his job. At the time, we didn't have like any household buffer. So we said to him, when I have a think about what you want to do, and then we'll we'll figure this out together. But we weren't that like motivated at that point. But now we're going to kind of say to him, like I've, I've done the calm emotions thing to help calm him down. We're going to say to him, like, look, you're right. I don't want you to be in a job that you're not happy in. I don't want you to be miserable. I don't want our kids to grow up thinking that you have to be miserable in life. Like, I don't want that to be the case. So why don't you go downstairs and apply for whatever job would make you really happy? I'll sort out, baby. You go ahead and do that because I know how much it means to you. And oh my gosh, Gordon, I just wanted to let you know that I'm pregnant. Leonel and I will be expecting a little one soon. I don't know if she's trying to make him jealous. Like, I don't know why she's still messaging him all the time, but... Whatever, he he wasn't interested. Oh, what's this? Happy. Oh, because someone else is expecting. Okay, whatever. I read your guys' comments about like career ideas. And I know when Gordon was younger, he expressed interest in wanting to be a chef. But I kind of wonder if, look at you using the potty on your own, cutie pie. Oh, okay, miss. I kind of wonder if this was like a little bit more just wanting to impress Liv's family rather than it actually being something that he really wanted to do. 
So I really liked the idea last episode of going into the political career because it matches his lifetime aspiration as well. Oh, there we go. He wants to be this neighborhood confidante and just be like influential, try and do good. Like his personality is good. He's like a good sim so i really like the idea of him going into the political career and then you guys also pointed out that there is a specific charity organizer specific like path you can take as a politician which i think matches him so much better i don't see him being this like you know like really cutthroat sort of like what you need to do to get to the top i see him being much more like this kind of softer just wanted to do good in the world. So I'm going to make him go down this branch and I'm going to start him in the political career. I'm just going to pause a hot sec. I'm going to see if he's got enough. No, he's not satisfied in life. I was going to see if I could get him ahead by buying the trait that lets you get slightly ahead, but he's not going to be able to do that. So let's get him out of this job that he absolutely hates and let's start doing some activism. And okay, look at this. This is like his vibes keep going up. This is ex exactly what he wants to do. So he's got to choose a cause to support. And what do you think he would choose? Speak for the trees, which is what Scarlet chose. World United, Foundation for Less Mischief, No Sim Left Behind, or Simoleons for Everyone. I kind of feel like, you know, he's a family man now. He didn't, it, it, it was a struggle for him to get there. But maybe if we choose this no sim left behind thing i feel like that would be something he'd be interested in you know and i'm gonna suggest you know if you're gonna go for this new job why don't you go ahead and give yourself like just freshen up a little bit oh something's broken in here okay repair this first because we seriously need to start saving money now freshen up and just get yourself all psyched up for your job you've already done your course to support and your charisma's level five why don't you work on that a little bit today if you fancy it as well and i think he's just happy and excited to go to work tomorrow and it not be something that he absolutely hates oh thank you zane so whilst he's like freshening himself up i'm gonna like nip into cast and give him this uh, little makeover. I know it wouldn't happen this quickly, but he's at least going to have a good night's sleep tonight because he's like excited about his job. That would actually make me sleep worse, but he's not dreading going into work, which is just the worst feeling, you know? So there we go. Remove those little tired, worried eye bugs. Pop a little bit of uh, color into his face. We'll give him a little bit of a trim because he's getting all ready for his job tomorrow. Although at this point, he's not very high up, but I just think he'd like want to just freshen up you know give his hair a little bit of a tidy as well and i'm just gonna like change him into like just slightly more like relaxed clothes because he's not high up in the job yet and he doesn't like need to wear like a a little tie to work or anything anymore it's, it's much more relaxed when you're an activist and you're just starting out so eventually he might need to go back to wearing that but for now let's just keep things like smart casual he looks so much better already geez and then for Liv. Her like messy hair was representing her being a little bit messier in general in life. So I'm gonna have her go and just like get a little bit of a haircut makeover as well. And we're gonna go for a shorter hairstyle. Eventually I wanna go to like these longer ones, but for now it's just like, she wants a big change, a big reset. So we're going for this like little, little curls, little, little 1950s moment. Like I feel like she's got, you know, a lot of like making up to do. These things don't happen overnight. But I think one thing that she really wanted to do is just completely quit her job. She, she was like, I don't want jo Gordon to quit his job because I want to quit mine. So he just needs to like work, get a few promotions and I can be the stay, up ho stay at home mom of my dreams. But now she's like, okay, that's not going to happen, at least not for a long time. So I'm just going to keep working real hard at my job. Maybe I'll work from home more so I can be with the kids more. Make sure he has a chance to get like really established in his career then maybe down the line i'll have the option to uh to quit my job but for now let's focus on him and his career for a bit because it's been the live show for quite a while so i do want to do the whole like dresses look with her but i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait and see if we can get her to the point where she's like she quits her job and then we go like full makeover but for now, it's just comfy mum kind of look and also be able to like work from home and do stuff around the house. So yeah, if you have any recommendations for 1950s CC, like, or just those kind of dresses, I'm not like really specific on like the time period. It's just the vibe of it. Then please let me know in the comments below. I wanted to hair a bit darker. I've done this a bit too light. I tried to recolor it myself, but oh well. Rain is still off for summer. Okay, but age is up tomorrow. So we've got Rain turning into a teenager tomorrow, which I'm really excited to see. Rain has had all summer off, literally all of the summer off. Oh, and we've got a little sick tofu begging for food. I do have a wellness treat though. And oh my gosh, please get this pool part of my inventory. <gasps> and what? I, oh my gosh, I miss Iris' birthday. No, Iris just aged up. Just 
started spinning in the middle of the floor. I got so distracted because of the baby. Oh my gosh. Okay, Iris has aged up. Did pretty well in everything. We got twos in all of these because we did pretty well as um, a child. And we got the bonus trait, the happy toddler trait as well. So that's good. What kind of child is Iris? I find it hard at this point. Like she was a charmer. So maybe she's like quite a social child. And she grew up with a good relationship with her father who was always like, you know, helping her out and really involved. So wait initially not but then from what she'll be able to remember as a toddler he definitely like was able to have a good relationship with her and sort through his feelings so i think she will end up with more positive traits than her brother so why don't we give her the cheerful trait she's happy because she had the good childhood whereas rain is clingy he's he's naturally picked that up from a phase and he's adventurous he doesn't want to be in the house that much because he didn't have the good relationship and continues to not have a good relationship with Gordon. Okay, so you're sad because everyone forgot your birthday. I'm so freaking sorry. I totally forgot it was your birthday. I am so sorry. Let's again go back to Cass so that I can go ahead and modify Iris's appearance this time. Okay, so she's kept... Did she have those eyes? I'm gonna have to bring up toddler version of her. Okay, so here is child Iris. So I'm gonna go for the same brow shape. And we have brown hair. I think no matter what color Bowen's hair ages up as, I'm going to do it blonde for the drama. Also, because Sims, like, the Sims game doesn't understand what color their hair is from CC, so it gives them a random hair color anyway. And this child is just giving me such strong, like, Jaden vibes. Like, I feel like she looks like so much like Jaden, which is good because I always felt Liv didn't look that much like... No, maybe she did. Maybe she did get some Jaden. That's good because then it's, it's like, passing on. I don't think I've used this hair before. I don't recognize that thumb. So why don't we go for this hair? I feel like um, Liv would very much encourage like her growing out her hair and all this kind of thing. So I want to choose some skin details that keep her eye shape. I may actually see which ones we've got on Liv. Ah, she uses this one. Okay. I don't have that for children. So I'll stick with this one for now. She has like a calm face. Like she just looks calm. She won't be in a moment when she realizes, remembers that we forgot her birthday. But I like that she just has this like calm energy. And I've never used this dress right here on anyone before. So although it is summer, I think that's fine. If I don't put tights on or anything, she shouldn't be too warm. I just sort of feel like I'm trying to imagine how Liv would dress her, you know? So there is little Iris. Let me know what you think of her. I've added her, um, her other outfits as well. I think we're going to be seeing a lot of this one because it's summer. So we've seen what she looks like and I guess we will see rain tomorrow. And it's only 7 p.m. So I'm going to go ahead and cook her a cake because I feel so bad. I definitely didn't mean to do that. In fact, why don't you... Oh, I feel bad. Is it bad to make your kid cook? Oh, we can all cook the cake together. I was like, can you make your cake? Kid, make their own birthday cake? Is that mean? But I think it's kind of fun. So this is nice. Look, a little family cooking moment. We've never done this before. She's never like, you know, she's always been like, why doesn't he get on with his like, kids? Why doesn't he see eye to eye with her? And why is he struggling to connect without ever actually trying to encourage it, I guess? It came naturally for her, but it didn't come naturally for Gordon. So this is nice. This is, we're trying. We're trying to create this perfect picture of the white picket house and the little perfect family here okay he's gonna have this whenever he's around uh rain but i really want rain to like grow into quite a rebellious child so i kind of don't mind that for the storyline i'm not gonna try and resolve those feelings i'm gonna keep them the way that they are because it's, it's more interesting to do it that way and yeah he's still he, I think he's sad because he really wants to connect. Like, he's not sad because he's like, oh, I hate my kid. He's like, why do I struggle so much to connect with this child? He also wants to volunteer with his family. So I think maybe at the weekend, which is tomorrow, we can do a little bit of that. Although you do have your new job on... You actually have your new job tomorrow, so maybe we'll do it after your job. But it makes sense that he'd want to start volunteering now that he wants to try and get into the charity job as well. And in fact, why don't you come upstairs and deal with this crying little babbleroo, please? <gasps> And I reached gourmet cooking level 10. Now, because I knew it didn't need to be um, a birthday cake, I just went ahead and just made the nicest possible cake. I'm not going to get her to blow out her candles because, of course, that would make her age up. But why don't you come ahead and sneak a little taste? You don't need to eat this. There you go. That's a pretty That's a pretty good birthday cake, I think. Hopefully, that makes her feel a little bit better. And we'll just say, like, look, your birthday... It, you actually share a birthday with your new baby brother. So, you know... 
you'll be okay. I'm sorry it worked out this way, but it was a very busy day for mom. She did get cut open. And I'm also gonna say me and your dad, I've been putting off this wedding for too long. Why don't you be our little flower girl at our wedding? Cause you know, I've got two people. I can, I can make Rain the ring bearer and I can make Iris the flower girl. And that will be so cute. And look at her relationship. Her relationship with all of her children is so good. <gasps> and this is weird. Sad about evilness from Good Trait. Interacting with an evil sim really brings Gordon down. Who did you talk? All you've interacted with is your baby. Has the baby got a hidden evil trait? Guys, what? I can't have two rebellious sons. That's just way too much. Oh, and I need to get you a new bed, don't I? There we go. Graduate you to a bigger princess bed. Oh, wait, that's a toddler bed. I'm sorry, child. There we go. That makes more sense. Day one of trying to be a better person. We did family cooking. We encouraged Gordon to do a job that he would love. We did forget our child's birthday, but I feel like you've got to cut me some slack for that because I was giving birth. It's easily done when you're giving birth. And I forgot I can now do super efficient baby care because I am parenting level 10. So I can literally just do everything all in one go. And baby is all done. Look at that. Beautiful. The efficiency is amazing. Bowen loved it too, because now we're good friends. You're not getting any like, oh, I'm not enjoying interacting with this evil sim. So I don't think my baby's evil. But you also only get that if you're a good sim, which Liv isn't. So, oh, she's wanting to go downstairs and caress his cheek. Like, look, she's all over him. I've never known her want to interact with him so much before. Okay, this is good. I feel like I'm putting in the effort as like sim owner, but she's also putting in the effort as sim. So this is, this is all kind of perfect. We've got to start also seriously trying to save some money. So I was thinking, I don't have work for three days i could like bake and sell i could do like a bake sale to try and raise a bit of extra cash i'm gonna suggest the idea to gordon we'll start discussing things as a family instead of me making all the decisions and just be like i was thinking today why don't i try and make a little bit of extra cash by doing a bake sale tomorrow what do you think and he's like love that idea love that i don't have any problem with you spending some of our money on buying the table so there we go communication gun you love to see it. Also, I haven't forgotten, by the way, that I do need to adopt a sim. I'm just waiting for the right point in the story. It feels too much right now. Way too much right now. But we've known it's always been Gordon's dream, so. Maybe because he wishes his evil twin brother was adopted out of the family. Good old Eric here, who we didn't go down the affair route with, but he was definitely a catalyst to us realizing that we weren't happy. But we actually were really happy the whole time. We were just in Egypt and selfish. And the kids are up, which means it's the morning race to see who gets to the toilet first. Oh, Iris. You've got to do better than that. You can't be you can't be getting up that late and expecting to hit the toilet first, you know? It's it's very cutthroat is the toilet situation in this house. We only have one. Actually, you're fine though cuz rain rain prefers to fertilize this instead cuz he's a brat. And I'm going to have Gordon like get a shower and then like psych himself up ready for his job. And I love the idea that Iris is like a little mini me. She's like helping us like do like little bits of chores on a morning and then she's like joining in the cooking and stuff too in the same way that Liv used to do when she was younger. I want her to be like little helpful mini me because it's cute. Okay, and Gordon's he's feeling confident. He's all psyched up and ready for his first day. Co-workers doesn't work with me anymore. So I'm just going to get him to like schmooze his boss and work really hard. There's not as much pressure for daily promotions now, but I would still ideally like him to get daily promotions. Not daily, but to get a lot of promotions because I really need 16,000 pounds. And to help me with that, I am going to buy that selling table that I can never remember remember what it's called. Is it like an outdoor activity? I can never find this thing. It's like the most annoying thing to find. Maybe I need to buy like a display case too so that they don't go off. I don't know. We're starting small though. Don't get ahead of yourself. Come and get it street store. There it is. I can never find this thing. Okay, and we're just gonna pop it here. And maybe maybe Iris wants to help me actually because Iris seems to like helping me cook. She can help me with doing some selling. It's like a more happy ethical version of Clem making the children work, isn't it? Ooh, and Rain. Rain is angry because he just met a sibling he doesn't want at all. He, oh, he's off to go smash the dollhouse. <gasps> oh, wow. Yeah, he didn't want another sibling. And it seems like he definitely didn't want a little brother. Also, if you guys remember, Rain kind of knows. Like, Rain saw his mom with this other man. He's the only person that did. He didn't see the affair or anything, but he saw them hanging out. And he was, like, suspicious. At this point, he's, like, old enough to kind of get an inkling. Which is another reason he's going to be a bit of, like, a rogue child. And, yeah, he was not happy. He was, like, really angry about it. So, he didn't tell Gordon because he's, like, not close with him. But I think it, like, ruined his view of his mom a little bit, maybe. And he definitely, I think he knows. I think he knows his little brother. 
brother is like a half brother. So he's gonna hang out moodily in the pool. Maybe not so moodily. It seems like actually quite chill hanging out in a pool all day whilst the girls do the bake sale. Oh my gosh, it is turning into a 90s 50s hustle. I didn't mean it to. I did not mean it to work out like this. It's just that Liv is like a sweet, nice girl and Rain is a little bit more edgy. So it's just kind of worked out this way. It's fine. I think baking with your daughter would be really nice. It'd be nice baking with your son and your daughter, but obviously that's just not gonna happen at this household. And it's helping building her skills as well so no freaking way he's been promoted on his first day he literally got promoted on his first day god have you little clever bub kid this is definitely definitely you got embarrassed because you were smoothing your boss all day at work but you were happy to do it because you loved the job you're already a campaign intern with your little promotion and you can now debate politics oh my gosh you have to come home and tell her i can't believe after not getting promoted for so long he went ahead and got promoted on his first day that's so cute he must be like freaking over the moon oh look at him little coming in and telling the girls little happy bumpkin it's still a little bit of, you know, a split household, but things are on the up. Things are definitely on the up. And I got him to promote his cause as well. And Liv's like, yes, I agree with you. So that's nice. I'm going to get him to take the kids volunteering so I can do a little bit more baking and whatnot. And I'm also going to end summer break so that they actually go to school tomorrow. <laughs> so this is a long time not to go to school, you know? And oh, they've just welcomed their new baby. Are you able to stop by? No, I don't think he's going to want to spend so much time with her now that he's getting more like of the interactions that he wants at home. So Rain probably begrudgingly coming to this, but uh, we're gonna go to the soup kitchen. Rain, if you can pry yourself out the water and go to the soup kitchen, what do you reckon? No, we wanna play with the Dirk instead? Okay, he's going, he's going. There we go. Oh, and look, when she's baking, it makes her think about Jaden. That's so cute. And her cooking's really good. You know, excellent quality, excellent quality, excellent quality. I'm sure we can try and sell something, even with a 300% markup, you know? No, he's not interested. Okay, if you're not interested, leave this money is for my family and their home you gotta go <gasps> and gordon's just aged up oh he's an adult oh my gosh i thought he'd aged up into an elder oh he didn't thank the lord thank the lord he's back wait where are your children <gasps> oh we never visit our dad uh, why don't you come over and buy some things from our bake sale where are the children why have you just left the children <gasps> and we sold a thing Guys, we sold a thing. <gasps> so his dad's here and I forgot that his dad is how he's got the alien genes. The alien genes in our house are kind of strong now because his dad is full alien, right? And we've got Ash on our side as well. So yeah, I just, I kind of forgot about Gordon's family to be honest. But yeah, that's his dad. <gasps> and I sold my baked Alaska. I sold the baked Alaska. <gasps> That's the one I wanted to sell. I got a thousand for that. Almost. I got a lot. No, I didn't. My baked Alaska's still there. I sold the chicken. We sold the chicken. Alicia, you've got to buy something. I'm out here at 11 p.m. still grafting. Somebody buy something, please. <gasps> 2,000. Oh, my gosh. <gasps> okay. We are starting a baked Alaska sales because uh, a baked Alaska shop because I make so much money from it. Okay, this was a good idea. We're on 8,000 simoleons already. Suddenly moving to Willow Creek does not seem like such a pipe dream after all. So we have a new son, uh, Bowen. Liv has aged up. Sorry, Iris has aged up. I don't know why she's napping. Do a proper sleep. And is an absolutely adorable little child. Rain is becoming more and more rebellious every day, which I'm kind of loving. We're trying to get him on track with, you know, the whole volunteering and whatnot, but it's going to be a bit of a stroke and I'm kind of ready for it. He is so ready to age up. So I think we will age him up immediately when we start the next episode. We might need to do a cake for breakfast, genuinely. But we've started to make the first steps to, you know, improving our marriage, get, well, <laughs> improving our relationship, getting ready for our marriage, trying to earn some extra money us putting ourselves out doing you know the hard work by trying to sell or also trying to sell to our immortal doctor willow creek moving to willow creek feels like something that could happen very soon so if you guys would like to see that let me know in the comments below we will need to do a bit of work to the house when we get in it but i feel like it suits Liv very very well so i'm really excited about that let me know what you think of little bowen and what kind of appearance you want to see for rain in the next episode i'll see you guys there thank you so much for watching bye